What's up, man? 25 Gamers. Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be discussing the 4-3 under defense, and we're going to be talking about our middle defense, what we like to use for middle runs, as well as our base pass defense uh, when they're in like a, uh, not in a balance set, but more just a basic pass coverage that we can use uh, to stop a lot of passing, especially over the middle, when they're targeting the middle of the field, uh, rather. Anyway, um, this play is the 4-3 under. Mike will cross three, and uh, if you want to check out the other plays, now we've discussed the scheme. You can check out the uh, description and the annotation. Anyways, guys, Mike will cross. This is our middle run defense. There's only one adjustment for the middle par portion of the run defense, and that's just a baseline and then bring the safety down over the center like we've been doing all scheme. And you see this is a very good middle run defense. As you see, we blow up uh, the Cardinals here in the backfield, and then we're going to flip it and show you what it looks like to the right side of the field. And... Um, as you see, it's just a very stout run defense in terms of the middle of the field. However, if they run off tackle, it requires a lot more user skill to, to actually stop the run off tackle. Here you have to get really wide and kind of do it yourself. Um, and, of course, if I wasn't using two controllers, uh, I might have had stood a better chance. But it, it really serves to illustrate the fact that this is not a wide run defense. This is an off tackle uh, but sometimes it will just blow up the outside run. Sometimes, but not not as a rule. That's an underscore to the rule that it does not stop off-tackle runs. All right, guys, so that's the run defense portion of today's video. I just wanted to kind of give you a quick glimpse. This is your stopper for, like, inside zone, etc. Uh, this is very effective to stop those type of runs. Now I want to show you this play against the pass. Uh, in my opinion, this is one of the better pass defenses in Madden 25, and that's because of all we can do with the play. Uh, and, and to show this, I specifically want to show the shotgun bunch, and I want to show the the Z spot play that everybody really likes, and including me. I really like it as well. So what we want to do, uh, as far as stopping the pass out of this, and this is, for example, the run defense setup is is for two wide receivers and less, and then the pass defense setup I'm going to give you right now is for three wide receivers and up. So therefore, this is a three wide receiver set, so I feel inclined to run the pass defense version, so I'm going to base a line. I'm going to re-blitz my left to screen both defensive tackles. Both defensive tackles get re-blitzed. I'm going to either quarterback spy, man up on the running back, or drop him in a deep blues, and I can do whatever I want with Dunlap here. I can re-blitz him. I can drop him into a hook. I can do whatever I want. I'm going to put my middle linebacker in a hook zone. Once I do this, I'm going to man a line and then base a line. This is going to re-exaggerate my zones, rebalance them so that they're a little bit more effective. And now I'm going to user control uh, this kind of right seam area with Maluga. Now at the snap of the ball, you see we're going to get a pretty decent A-gap pressure, delayed A-gap pressure from the middle linebacker. And um, you see that a lot of the good stuff from Z-Spot, especially that post route, is going to be covered um, because of the way that we did the blitz and the coverage behind it. I'm all over this, the deep post. And so now the only thing that's really open is this underneath spot route, which is all right to give up that underneath stuff. Okay. And then um, if you want to stop the deep post and be able to use her underneath, then you're going to put this corner right here, the safety, into a deep blue zone, as well as this defensive end into a deep blue zone, along with all the other adjustments we were doing, uh, which is just kind of giving you some advanced tips and you just can mess around with the zones with this thing, and uh, that's kind of what we want to have flexibility with this. But the main setup is the one that I give you in the description: is to re-blitz both defensive tackles, place Dunlap in a deep blue zone, hook zone Maluga, base line or uh, man line and then base line, and you're going to use the middle of the field. And as you see, it's not great pressure, but it's good enough, and. Um, you can leave Dunlap. Uh, you can leave that defensive end here, Dunlap, actually rushing on that blitz angle, and it's actually not too bad of a blitz angle. And we'll show you the timing here. But here, the, see that? See how both blitz angles really rush in, and that time we got the a gap pressure at the quarterback. This is just a passive zone with a time limit, and it's a very effective zone for shutting down popular routes like Z spot, as well as many other routes that a lot of people like to throw. So that's the video, guys. I just wanted to show you that you want to use her the middle linebacker, and this is just a really good pass defense. We're going to show you how all this message, message meshes together in the uh, gameplay. But for right now, I just wanted to give you the setup so you can apply this to the other three videos. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys.